<laughs> all right guys watch i'm just i'm playing with my um gopro i don't know if you can see it let's see i, mean, if, I don't know oh yeah you can kind of see it there but basically yeah i kind of want to just walk through and see how um what's that thing called show you guys how that shadow dash is running so there goes the car there oh. i need to give her a wash there goes those uh what do you call those things super super legacy side skirts so they look like that yeah pretty straight now so i got some subaru rims i got the center caps i pulled them i don't know some little cool stuff uh then now some slotted rotors whatever that's yeah, little gay stuff but uh yeah Nah, I was just um here at the crib and I was like oh you know what let me uh what do you call it see how this thing you know works so just bear with me oh lord have mercy I need to get a better cell phone thing holder whatever all right so let me go back to this so I can at least start seeing all right so I got this little cell phone thing holder in here. You know, I have my uh, Bluetooth adapter, you know, so I can connect to the ECU. I also have my serial port adapter if I wanna, you know, pull out the laptop. So now we go and turn on the car. I need to go here. I got two programs on this phone. I got one which is called this is from EFI Analytics. It's called, um, what's that shit called? Oh. Oh, Lord, I messed up there. Alright, so you guys are gonna start seeing, it's gonna start reading. You know, I have AFRs there, map, battery, coolant, it's cold, manifold air temp duty cycle timing you can change off to like you know different things Ooh, I forgot about this one I like that one you know but then you could also change what you want to see so like you know me timing's good I need to change my settings so that I just keep doing it but you know you have all this so this is you know pretty cool we have these you know different settings I mean screens you can play with oh, Lord. <clears throat> I was well, actually my kids were messing with this and they threw it off but then you could start doing some logging you saw I did some logging so that's one you know I really just use this to just keep my eye on temps because you know this factory sensor I should don't really tell you anything and you know the rest yeah whatever but um what do you call it, it was pretty cool if you know, see this mile per hour you could actually go and uh What's that thing called get a GPS and with that GPS you can simply log horsepower G's like some other stuff that they have available but I don't really care so now if I back out of this I have on oh, that program Emmet or shadow dash MS that was uh, $10 and the Bluetooth adapter that was a Bluetooth adapter. Uh, I think uh, it was like 50 bucks or something like that. So now I have this one. This is MS Droid for MS. It's not as fancy as the um, what do you call it? The Shadow Dash, but it's much more functional. So it does the same thing. You know, it connects. It gives me all my stuff. But now I could go in here. I could do logging as well. I could load tune, save tunes, but the thing that I like the most is going to tuning. I have all of my fields that are just like in the, um, what do you call it, Mega Squirt, or the Tuner Studio. So even if I want to play with the trigger wheel settings, I can go in there. Um, you know, of course, fuel, AFR table for the Eagle control, ignition and such. Um, you know, start up and idle, you can change your priming pulse. You know, a whole bunch of all these different um, features. Um, the cool thing about it that I like is you can do it on the fly. So let's hear, like right now I have boost control off. I mean off, I could go, turn it on, and then I would hit burn. And it 
might shut down the car. Sometimes it does it while it's a little bit cold. Uh, well, actually, it didn't do it there. So now boost controller's on. Um, and then, you know, they have different things. And then if you go into tuning, that's... I don't use the tuning there. I actually just go here because... Uh, what do you call it? I'm basic. And, like, if I want to play with my first fuel map, I come in here and then you see the factors. And then you can say, oh, okay, I want to add some fuel. Hit those numbers. You can go back. Let's say I want to go to my boost map and then I go into fuel oh uh, lord there oh uh, lord don't tell me to change anything I need a what do you call it do this thing good but anyhow so you know there goes my fuel map I still gotta do some cleaning up there um, you can see from the figures I just started turning up the boost but um yeah we go back and that's pretty much it guys so you know it's pretty pretty cool you know different um, you know functions available with this ECU but hopefully tomorrow it doesn't rain and we have this street racing made safe event and um, I don't know we'll be able to you know go and play tomorrow but all right guys well that was pretty much it so then now you know, usually what I do is I go back here into this GoPro app and then I start seeing you know everything there like oh look at that a camera within the camera Woo! all right all right well enough of that all right guys